Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Get all your latest professional wrestling news and updates. AEW, Impact Wrestling, WWE, NXT. Live viewing parties with eWrestling News fans. Don't miss out. Go to eWrestlingNews.com today. The best damn wrestling site on the planet. I've been watching wrestling for over 30 years. Professional wrestling is in my blood. Inside this box, there are thousands of professional wrestling cards. So many legends and superstars have come and passed. While some still have a long ways to go. These cards are a true testament of time for every bit of blood, sweat, and tears. Today we go back in time to 1994, the Action Packed World Wrestling Federation card set on this exciting episode of Superstars with Cards. The Classics. The Rookies. The Legends. Wrestling cards are back, bigger than ever. Game and Music Empire presents Superstars on Cards. Alright folks, welcome back to Superstars on Cards. And on today's episode, we're going to be looking at the uh, classic 1994 action-packed World Wrestling Federation card set. A uh, card set that it, it was pretty hard to get hold of. And uh, this card set's not easy to find, I can tell you that. Now, I've been looking over the place for this card set, and finally I found someone that was selling it, and I am very lucky to actually be able to buy this card set, and it wasn't really super expensive, it was $100. It's time for another Russell Vessel Report. Top Wrestling Cards of the Week. Alright, welcome back everyone to the Cards of the Week here with the Russell Vessel. Today I'm going to discuss um, some interesting cards from, it came with wrestling figures called the WWF Bendem figures. These figures were made around like 96, 97, maybe even 98. They're little figures that only cost like $3 and um, they were made after the Hasbros are called Bendem. And uh, I'm going to go over some of the ones I have today. So first of all is Goldust. And look how cool, like, they make like this little artwork out of the guys. Another one is Mabel. This one's Lex Luger. I actually mailed this one to Lex Luger and he signed it for me. So there you see a Lex Luger autograph on the Bendem card. We got Doink the Clown. Cool one of the one, two, three kid like jumping in the ring. Ahmed Johnson. The British Bulldog. And China. I had one of um, Diesel too. I actually mailed it to Nash last spring hoping I'd get an autograph. Unfortunately, he must have kept it and never came back to me. But um, these are pretty cool, though. These, again, like, these are the Bendem figure cards. And you can see little bios and things like that in the back of them, too. So I'd recommend, you know, if you ever get a chance on getting those um, sealed figures of Bendem figures, try to get, collect these cards, too, because they're a pretty cool thing that comes with it. Um, these actually aren't talked about too much, so I don't even know if really these aren't being sold on eBay. And I haven't really looked, but um, I haven't seen them. All right, let's go back to the Aftershock in New York and... Uh, Everybody have a good day here um, on the Game Cruiser channel. Uh, this card set came out in 94 during the uh, new era of the World Wrestling Federation. It's going to be really interesting. These cards are also much more thicker than your normal cards. They seem like they're like folded over and they, they, they're different. They're definitely different. Live from the Wrestling Card Control Center. Wrestling with cards of very own. Zan Morning. Morning. What's up wrestling fans? I'm Zan from Wrestling With Cards on YouTube. Are you ready for some action? Well, in 1994, the WWF definitely was. Today's video is a look back at the 1994 WWF Action Packed Wrestling Card Set. This is an embossed finish set, which means that it raises up off the card. The card's not exactly flat. And this hadn't been done since 1985, I believe, 
with the WWF Superstars 3D Wrestling cards. This set features 42 base cards. There were also chase cards, 24 karat gold cards, because in the 90s, we just couldn't get enough gold on our cards, am I right? There are also a few key rookie cards in this set as well, but by far the biggest card that was produced in this set, not part of the base set, but numbered out of 500, Macho Man and Undertaker on-card autographs randomly inserted in packs, the first of its kind for wrestling cards. So get ready to take a trip back to smack dab in the middle of the new generation and get a piece of that in cardboard form. And when you're done watching this video, make sure to head over to my channel, Wrestling With Cards, on YouTube for even more great wrestling card content. Enjoy this video. See you next time. All right, folks, we're going to be taking a look at a uh, special awesome card set right here, the 1994 Action Packed World Wrestling Federation card set. Only 42 cards. Uh, there wasn't too many cards in this card set, uh, but these cards are much more thicker and much more, uh, I don't want to say they're better quality, but they're definitely, uh, you can tell that the the material that they use on these individual cards is definitely much more than a normal card. So having like one of these cards is much more thicker and it looks probably better than a, your average uh, wrestling card from uh, back in the day. Uh, just for a little bonus though, before we dive into those, let's check these out. We have the uh, Road to Wrestling Federation 1994 Bret Hart Coliseum video card set. Only five cards. Let's be like a little bonus we're going to show you guys. And uh, this gives you an example of what a basic card looks like. Thin, basic, cardboard card. And we have Bret Hart on five of these cards right here, as you can see. Nothing too fancy. Uh, great illustrations though, Bret Hart. You had the, Bret, the Hitman Hart logo right there on each card and the WWF logo. And this was released with one of the Coliseum videos. It's a little bonus. And on the back, of course, you get like a little detail on each card. And uh, those cards are, there's only five cards in that set, so, so pretty awesome though. If you're a Bret Hart fan, that's a nice little small set you can try to hunt down and put them inside the binder. Alright, so here we go. We're going to dive into the 94 Action Packed World Wrestling Federation card set. And you're going to see right away. If you look closely, these cards are much more thicker. It's like it's almost like a thick as a credit card. So here we are. The first uh, one that we have. These also have like a gold reflective border going around it, and the uh, Action Packed logo is gold. So these cards, they definitely put a lot of effort into the details, and uh, definitely really, really good quality. The first card is Bam Bam Bigelow. Then you have IRS. Yeah, Doink the Clown. The next card set you have Diesel. Then you have Razor Ramon. Then you have Ludwig Borga. And on the bottom right there you have Shawn Michaels. Yokozuna. The Head Shrinkers. And right here you can see each card has like a gold, like little signature on each card from each wrestler. Of course, you know, that was printed on. That's not an actual real autograph, but it was actually printed on. It has like a gold reflective look to it, which is really nice. And uh, once we turn the page here, you can see the back of the cards. Like how thick they are. Uh, this portion of the card on the side where the gold is, see, it's like folded over and it's like more thicker than your average card. Like I said, these are as thick as like a credit card. And this portion right here is a little bit more thicker. But it definitely has some really great detail though. Now some of these individual cards go for a lot of money for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but they, some of them go for quite a bit. So right there on the top you have um, the Bushwhackers. You have Bob Backlund and you have The Undertaker. They have Macho Man Randy Savage. You have... Um, Adam Bomb, Brett the Hitman Hart. And on the bottom you have Luna Vachon. 
one, two, three kid. And of course you have a classic golden border Owen Hart card right there on the bottom, which is awesome. Great looking cards. You see how nice and thick they are and how reflective they are. Time to turn the page. You gotta turn the page carefully here to get always hung up right here. All right, on the next set right here, the next page we have Alex Luger. And then we have Bastion Booger. And then we have the, uh, I believe that's the Quebecers. We have a Marty Gennetti card from the 90s, which is probably not so common. And then we have a uh, Freddy Blassie. We have the Steiner Brothers. The Smoking Guns on the very bottom. And then we do have a classic Andre the Giant card, which I'm guessing they probably put that card in there because Andre the Giant passed away that same year. And then we have a uh, Paul Bear card right there on the bottom. And Paul Bear always made the funniest looking faces. And let's turn the page. And the on the top, you have Man on a Mission with uh, Mabel, also known as uh, Viscera. And then you have Tatanka. And Tatanka was quite the popular wrestler back then. He was undefeated for quite a long time. And then you have uh, a Yokozuna card that says Crushers. And it has Colossal on top. You can definitely see the color scheme, the uh, the pink and the green with the, the pink on the top. It definitely screams 90s. You can definitely tell that it's like a 90s looking uh, color scheme. Alright, on the very center row we have Diesel with the same exact caption. We have Adam Bomb and then we have Bastion Booger and all of them have the same exact caption as the Yokozuna card. Crusher and Colossal. And then of course when you get to the bottom row, you have, um, it looks like you have uh, Earthquake, you have uh, Mabel, and you have Ludwig Vorga. And they also have the same exact Crusher Colossal thing on it. And I believe that right here, I don't know if it's a reflective thing going on here, but... There is some sort of uh, blemish or something on that card. Probably not on the card, but on the actual protective casing itself. Now these cards right here, these are the ones that usually tend to go for a lot of money for some reason. I don't know exactly why. Let's focus this camera and make sure you guys see this. We do have a uh, Razor Ramon right there on top and it has a gold background. We have the uh, Shawn Michaels and the uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. And the Macho Man Randy Savage card is the one that I always see on eBay selling by itself. Not PSA certified, but by itself. Raw. Just by itself selling for like over $50, $50 easily. Uh, the Bret Hart card right there is also quite nice. And that one goes for quite a bit. Uh, the Macho Man one is the one that goes for the most, I believe, out of all, all of these cards. That one card sells for quite a bit. I don't know what what the deal is, but... Uh, they got the Steiner Brothers, and then of course you have the Undertaker card right there. The Undert Undertaker card that looks really, really awesome. And uh, they all have gold backgrounds, as you can see right there. And uh, the gold background cards, as mentioned, they go for quite a bit. And that is the 94... World Wrestling Federation Action Packed card set. There is also probably promo cards to that too, but I don't have those. Now that card set is actually not exactly easy to find. It's kind of hard to track that card set down, especially in good good uh, condition. You can find individual cards, but finding the actual whole card set together is actually a challenge. And I hope you enjoyed that episode of Superstars on Cards, and here's a little preview of what you're going to see next. The 95 action-packed card set. What you just saw was the 94 card set. 
So stay tuned. You never know what you're going to see next. And don't forget to check out the Wrestle Vessels YouTube page, Zam Mornings Wrestling on Cards YouTube page, and eWrestlingNews.com.